Lagos roads are busy again, with school coaches and other vehicles filled with children returning to school. It is not the first time that schools are reopening since the pandemic broke out in Nigeria last March. But the growing number of COVID-19 infections has forced the question of the propriety or otherwise of the decision, especially in Lagos, where multiple hundreds of cases have been recorded daily. School resumptions, uh, monitoring the exercise has become a ritual. Uh, one of the first things we would do the first week of resumption uh, to make sure that everything is uh, put in place. Uh, this is a very critical period. Aside from the normal school monitoring we do, uh, we all know what is happening around the world. COVID-19 is around. And the second wave is uh, very violent and virulent. And as a result of that, we must ensure that all the safety protocol are strictly adhered to. Growing number or not, schools reopened but with adherence to the safety protocols, especially at this private school in Shangisha area of the states. Children, adults, everyone securely fastening the most visible symbol of the fight against the virus, the nose mask, across their face. While temperature check at the entrance to the facility and proper hand washing are a must as the new term begins. It feels good because I miss school, to be honest, and seeing friends and all, and you know, the, there's nothing like the normal physical teaching and class, so I've missed all that and it feels good to be back in school. We also run um, awareness programs in our school, um, telling the students on mask up and different things like that, so I'm very much aware of the COVID-19 and how it's growing in Nigeria, and Lagos is the epic centre, so of course we have to ensure more safety. It feels very good to see all my friends and teachers once again. Sometimes it can be inconvenient, but we do know that it is very necessary to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. So we will adhere to these rules and we will do them and make sure that COVID-19 stops spreading. Even their teachers are as excited, not minding the twist to their usual work schedules. We have the wash hand basin, an automated machine that, you know, the students wash their hands. We ensure that they wash their hands, they sanitize, and at the same time, they dry their hands in there. And then they also come inside as well, and then they sanitize again. And then at the reception, again, they're being checked. We also have marks, or, you know, on the floor to ensure that we uh, maintain social distancing of the children. And then in our classes, we take a um, maximum of 10 students in the class. I'm sure you went into the classes and you were able to see that the children, you know, are prepared for it because we just need to move on and live with it. So basically, we've put a lot into it. Beyond the physical learning, virtual option is another alternative being hugely explored here for parents who are not given to allowing their words back into the physical learning environment. We have an hybrid, you know, session at the moment. So the students that you're seeing now, they're actually day students. So we have that from 8 o'clock till 12 o'clock. And then in the afternoon from half 12, we have the boarders. The boarders come in for their own lessons. So we've tried to split this so that, you know, they don't get to have contact with themselves. And then we also have online as well for those who are home who can't come to school at the moment and the lessons are running. This is an elementary school run by the state government located in Maryland area. Like the private school, safety precautions against COVID-19 are a top priority here too, though the facilities are limited. It may not be the ideal, but it's not far from it. There is no hand washing basin here. But rather than have nothing, the authorities say this bucket of water and the liquid hand washing are enough for people coming into this facility to get their hands properly sanitized. It is a basic step in ensuring a proper check on the deadly COVID-19. We catch up with officials monitoring compliance with the set safety rules. We have a special unit at the Ministry of Education 
uh, that is Office of Education Quality Assurance, and they are saddled with this responsibility to go out there and ensure that uh, all the safety protocol are adequately uh, adhered to. Are you happy with the compliance? And the yes, satisfactory. Very, very, very. The number of students allowed in the classrooms here has been halved, according to officials who admit that though the epicenter status of Lagos as regards the pandemic made it a hard decision to agree to the reopening of schools, but also quick to point at the measures taken to ensure the safety of the children. Quite interestingly, the pupils themselves are not unaware of the needed precautions for them to stay safe at this time and even beyond. By washing your hands regularly with soap and water and avoid crowded places. Okay. And maintaining so, uh, physical distance between the social distance between your partner. I know how to take care of myself by washing my hands frequently and putting on my face mask and stay and staying far distance away from people. There may not be much room for excitement yet on the compliance with COVID-19 safety protocols recorded on the first day at school in the new year 2021. Its sustainability is an area of concern that the authorities must properly monitor so that the virus is kept at bay, even with full school activities picking up in Lagos. Tokubo, Oye Arise News, Lagos.